Hi, and welcome to a new guide. Today's topic is vacuum cleaners. The best vacuum cleaners shine with convincing results on all floors, clean corners and edges well, and work under 72 decibels. We'll take a look at these parameters and a few more in this video. If you already liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and maybe tell us in the comments if you don't like something and what we should do better. But for now, let's get started. A vacuum cleaner is supposed to do one thing above all, remove dirt from floors and transport it to its bag or dust container without exception. Whether this is successful depends in turn on the suction power. The stronger the airflow at the floor nozzle, the better the vacuum cleaner manages even demanding tasks. That is why the most important criterion when evaluating vacuum cleaners is the suction power. Regardless of whether it is a suction robot, stick vacuum cleaner, or classic floor vacuum cleaner, it provides information about how well a vacuum cleaner is capable of sucking dirt from floors and other surfaces. The suction power score accounts for up to 40% of the overall score awarded by trade magazines. This decision is not made arbitrarily, but is based on customers' purchasing criteria. For this purpose, we've conducted a comprehensive study to find out what they look for when buying a vacuum cleaner and what features are particularly important to them. The results were clear. Our customer survey revealed that around 80% of respondents considered suction power to be particularly important. These ratings show that suction power can vary greatly depending on the type of floor and suction area. Among the vacuums, for example, there are some that specialize with hard floors but they hardly pull out any dirt from carpet. Typical problem cases can be identified, such as vacuuming on high pile carpet, removing pet hair from upholstery, or vacuuming along room walls, for which buyers are specifically looking for solutions. It is interesting to note that the importance of suction power in the three different disciplines, hard floors and parquet, carpet and hair, and corners and edges, was rated about the same by our study participants. Performance. The best vacuum cleaners fall well below 28 kilowatt hours per year. The aspects of power consumption and energy management are important for evaluating the performance criterion. Depending on the operating mode, via battery or mains plug, different values are relevant. For mains powered vacuum cleaners, we use the recorded wattage as well as the annual consumption for the evaluation. Here, we rely on the manufacturer's specifications and the energy efficiency class indicated on the EU label. The calculation that high wattage equals high suction power no longer works for recent vacuum cleaners. Modern devices with a nominal input of 600 to 750 watts, as far as suction power is concerned, are in no way inferior to older models with well over 1000 watts. The difference is made by modern motors and sophisticated airflow, which convert the absorbed energy highly effectively and efficiently. The annual power consumption is correspondingly low, with less than 28 kilowatt hours per year. Mains vacuum cleaners receive good to very good marks from us. For cordless vacuum cleaners, which include vacuum robots and most upright vacuum cleaners, we have to use other values to make a statement about performance. We decided on battery runtime and battery charging time based on consumer surveys. In terms of runtime, robot vacuums can score significantly over stick vacuums. They can vacuum continuously for up to 60 minutes, while upright vacuum cleaners usually stop after half an hour. Handling From action radius to cleaning, the devil is usually in the details. After suction power, Handling is our second most important evaluation criterion for vacuum cleaners and accounts for 30% of the overall rating. The ease of use, the cleaning process, and the noise level are taken into account. In terms of ease of use, we evaluate everything that causes frustration or joy during everyday vacuuming. A whole range of factors play a role here. Suction hose. It should be sufficiently long, elastic, and connected to the vacuum cleaner body via a swivel joint. Thus, it allows you a high degree of freedom of movement and flexibility. Maneuverability. Thanks to 360-degree rollers and flexible swivel and tilt joints on the floor nozzle, a vacuum cleaner glides smoothly over any floor and can be maneuvered effortlessly around every piece of furniture and every corner of the room. 
As far as possible, it should follow all the movements of its user without fail, without tipping or even falling over. Operating range. For mains powered vacuum cleaners, the length of the power cord determines how far you can vacuum with it without having to change the socket. For cordless vacuums, it's the battery life. Carrying comfort. Some users want to use their vacuum cleaner to vacuum not just one floor, but several floors as well as stairs. Whether a vacuum cleaner is comfortable to carry depends on its weight on one hand and its size and carrying handle on the other. The more compact and lighter the device is, the better it can be transported over several floors. Emptying and cleaning is an evaluation aspect that is especially important with bagless units. Your dust container should be able to be removed and emptied via a simple click system. Meanwhile, contact with dust and dirt should be kept to a minimum. The volume of the dust container provides information about how often the emptying procedure has to be carried out. For the evaluation of the noise level, we use the decibel value specified by the manufacturer for all device types. They receive good to very good marks from us if the noise level is less than 72 decibels. In addition to the cold numbers, we also consider the subjective impressions of the buyers. After all, no matter how quiet a vacuum cleaner is, if the type of noise is annoying, it gets point deductions in this criterion. The equipment. The range of nozzles used in the vacuum cleaner is important. The type and design of the nozzle used determine how well the suction power is implemented on the floor and dirt is actually directed into the bag or container. To be prepared for as many applications as possible, good vacuum cleaners come with several nozzles. A combination nozzle is almost obligatory. Example, a floor nozzle that can be adjusted to carpet or smooth floors via a toggle switch. In addition, many manufacturers equip their vacuum cleaners with nozzles for specific applications or floor coverings. True models that specialize in carpet, for example, come with a turbo or power nozzle. They are equipped with a rotating brush roll that roughens and literally brushes out carpet while vacuuming. In this way, it can demonstrably get more dirt particles out of carpets than the normal floor nozzle. This is especially interesting for pet owners because pet hair and lint are also removed much better and more quickly. Vacuum cleaners for parquet floors, on the other hand, have a parquet nozzle with extra soft bristles that are gentle on sensitive surfaces. There are also various nozzles with bristle rings or elongated nozzles for vacuuming crevices and edges. Basically, the more nozzles a vacuum cleaner has, the better our score. However, at 15%, the equipment score only accounts for a comparatively small proportion of a vacuum cleaner's overall score. Why does the floor nozzle get stuck? Due to the increasingly strict EU guidelines for power consumption of vacuum cleaners, manufacturers are forced to produce suction power not only through high motor power, but also particularly efficient airflow. New designs for the housing, hose, tube, and nozzle are constantly being developed to increase the amount of air drawn in and reduce friction losses. For the floor nozzle, this means, among other things, that they have to be tighter with the substrate. An unwelcome side effect is that when the floor nozzle is so tightly sealed that no air can flow in, a vacuum is created. The nozzle gets sucked in and dirt is no longer transported into the pipe. And these are the most important things to consider when buying a vacuum cleaner. By the way, we've already published a test with the best vacuum cleaners for under 200 euros on our channel. Make sure to have a look. That's it for today with our guide to vacuum cleaners. We hope that we could help you a little further by addressing the most important information. Which one should consider for the purchase of a new vacuum cleaner? And if you liked the video, then make sure to leave a thumbs up. And we'd also really appreciate it if you subscribe. And remember also to click on the notification bell. We also appreciate comments on what you liked most and what we could possibly do better next time. We are looking forward to the next video with you. Goodbye and see you soon.